spend the rest of my life with the same one, same one. Ain't no I ain't T. I'ma bring you good love, just come with me. Hello! I just finished moving in for the summer. Well, technically not all moved in because I still haven't unpacked everything yet. This is my room. I'm staying in Winter House this summer for these three months. I haven't slept for uh, 24 hours. I took a red eye flight. And I did not sleep! First, let me show you uh, my room tour. It's not that big, but it's very cozy. And so here we are. So right inside here, we have the closet. Obviously, judging by the size, you can tell that it's very big. Excuse me, it's pretty obvious. See, you can totally sleep in here. And they also give each student a micro fridge and a microwave. And here is my table. I'm gonna finish packing, unpacking everything and my window. My room is the only room that is covered by trees on the ground floor. So I have some privacy, which is really, really cool. And the room looks out to the courtyard, which is a walkway that leads to the Charles River. And to the right is the Athletic Center. I'm so excited. Now I just need to get some rest. I love this place. What am I gonna do this entire summer? I'm cutting. Going to the lab, going to the gym, sleep a lot and catching up with some friends because a lot of people are moving back especially those who did not live on campus for the entire semester so Harvard allows them to go back and take two summer courses for free which is really cool yeah all right i'll see you in my other snippets of vlogs meanwhile i'm me i'm going to hit the hay i'm really tired All right, I'm awake. Who's down for a house tour? Winthrop is the main residence of the majority of Harvard undergrads performing summer research on campus and around Boston. Student researchers belong in a summer research village, abbreviated as HSURF, which encapsulates five to six Harvard summer research programs that provide opportunities for students to explore research in almost all fields. Oh my god, I'm such a nerd. They have this full... Wow, I should probably steal some. Now, let's turn the spotlight to Winthrop. It's one of the largest and fanciest houses at Harvard. Used to be home to JFK and the other Kennedys. Main mascot is Lion, and it's the only house with three courtyards out of all the Harvard houses. It is quite big. My love language is your time and attention. Won't you give some of it to me? I've been lonely lately. I've been feeling neglected And I want you to show me Can we get back On the same page Tonight can we stay And why don't you Talk to me, talk to me Let's start a conversation When you spend your time with me You're speaking my love language Talk to me, talk to me Don't eat it.
Breakfast is my most favorite meal of the day because I get to make what I enjoy and nourish my body after a long night of fasting. Don't skip your breakfast; it's super important. Okay, lab time. How should I describe my experience doing research? It's definitely an uphill battle. Sometimes I'd spend seven to eight hours doing an experiment, only to fail in the end, or three to four months repeating the same experiments over and over again to get consistent results. Those are many of the challenges I face as a student researcher, an apprentice learning everything brand new. Working in the lab, it's an uphill battle because you have to fight the thought of quitting and of continuing that same arduous procedure when seeing no results. Research teaches me to redo the search, and every time I learn something new. At the end of the day, seeing the expected results at the end is all the motivation we need to continue. It's raining. Just like Cambridge's unpredictable weather this whole summer, everything is constantly changing. We'll never know what life will throw at us the next day, month, and year. So why spending the time beating ourselves over the past and dreading the future? If my experiments fail, I'll come in again and do it. If I get rejected for a postgraduate opportunity, it's no big deal. I have a big presentation or exam tomorrow. I will study for it, hard. But I know that no matter what the results are, they don't define me, my will, or potential. I used to spend so much time worrying about the future. I wasted time that could have been used to observe and live in the ever-changing present. But now I realize that all the achievements and milestones that I used to fight so hard to achieve won't help me at all. If I'm not happy, if I'm mentally suffering, or if I'm just doing it for the sake of achieving something, I learn it the hard way. But you don't have to. Hey, yo, chill. It's just a trap. Yeah. She a little bad. In times of high pressure, I choose exercises as a form of self-care. I work out four to five times weekly and choose from a variety of exercises. Walking to lab, strength training in the gym, running in the evening, and last but not least, yoga and meditation. I diversify my exercises to let my body adapt and enjoy different levels of challenges. Exercise energizes my body and gives me that adrenaline rush. I feel stronger and my mental clarity improves every time. Working out doesn't have to always be in the gym. They can be done at home, on our way to work, or just a quick 15-minute cardio blast in between study sessions. I find that with exercising and every other thing I do in life, perfection is not a healthy goal. It might lead to overobsession and self-blaming if the too idealistic goal can't be reached. I know a lot of us are in quarantine nowadays because of the pandemic and want to work out in the gym or go back to our normal daily routine we have previously used to do to achieve maximum efficiency. But things don't always go the way we want, 100% of the time, as evident in our present world. And you and I, we should all learn to accept the challenges and work around it. If the gym is closed because of COVID, find something heavy to work out at home. If sitting in your room all day is a pain, try to go around the house every hour, or listening to your favorite song, or call your friend. Your mind and mental health will thank you. And of course. Eat, nourish your body with healthy food, because your body deserves it. This year has been hard for all of us, but we are stronger than we think. It's time to stop stressing over things that don't exist and haven't happened in our future. Worry less, flow with the new changes, and try our best. 
All right, love, that's all for today. Thank you for tuning in and for always supporting me, especially after the two month long hiatus that I took off to study for the MCAT. But for the rest of the summer, I will stop publishing more videos and finishing up the episodes about my summer here at the college why I do research. Please stay calm, strong, and happy. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.